Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to quickly show you guys how you can get an Indian IP address if you're looking for a VPN with an Indian IP address. So these are the best three. Now there are a bunch of reasons why you might want to get an Indian IP address and I'll explain why. So the first reason is if you're in India and you want to secure your connection and you don't want the government to spy on you or to know what you're doing online, or let's just say, for example, planning a protest and you just want to keep yourself anonymous and keep your data to yourself, you can use a good reliable VPN for that. Now, if you're looking for a VPN that has an Indian server, let's just say you're outside of India and you want to access the services that are only exclusive to India, for example, maybe a streaming service, then yes, you can use a VPN with an Indian server and just connect the servers so that way you can watch all the Indian content. Now, let me show you guys how you can get that IP address and I'll also be talking about these VPNs later on in this video. Now, I've got ExpressVPN, CyberGhost and Surfshark and I've tested the best VPNs with Indian IP addresses or servers. And so these are the best three overall. And they all vary in budgets and features. So you can pick and choose depending on what you're looking for and what really fits your situation and budgets. Okay, so let's start with ExpressVPN and I'll be using it to demonstrate. So all you really need to do is just head on over to the description down below, click the link, and then you'll be able to grab yourself a discount. Now, it doesn't actually matter which VPN you go for, and then you can log in using your credentials after having downloaded and installed the VPN. Then you can go to the locations, for example, with Express VPN. And then here I'll use it because that's what I like to use on a daily basis, but it's pretty easy to use. So that's mainly why I like to use it. So now just click on India and I'll just go ahead and turn it on and go to any IP address finder, such as what is my IP address.com. Now give it a quick refresh. And then you'll notice that my internet now thinks I'm in India simply because I'm connected to an Indian IP address. Now I can access whatever Indian service I want to get access to. It's really pretty easy. Okay, now, how do you know which of these could be the best choice for you? Well, ExpressVPN is going to be the most reliable and consistent out of all NCAA easiest VPN to use. So let's just say you're looking for the best VPN overall, I would definitely go with ExpressVPN. But now Surfshark is certainly going to be the best option if you're looking for, in my opinion, the best budget VPN that really gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you'd get with a more expensive VPN. And I'm talking about features like the kill switch and split tunneling, you know, and a bunch of protocols as well as specialty servers like multi hop and static IP. So for more information on all these features, you'll find the reviews down below. But what you do need to know is yes, Surfshark does work with accessing streaming services that are exclusive to India. But because you do have reliable Indian servers. And all you need to do is really just look it up right here. Just click on India and you should be good to go. Now the same thing goes with CyberGhost, but the main difference between let's just say Surfshark and CyberGhost is that Surfshark does not sacrifice any of the necessary security features. And you also get to secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription, which is a very unique feature that you don't get with most VPNs. So you can share it around with as many friends and family members as you would like. So if you had, for example, a big family or a business, that is a great option for you. Now, CyberGhost is really the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost while sacrificing features like split tunneling and specialty servers. But you do have the server categories that are split up depending on what you're looking for. So let's just say you're looking for streaming services. You can go to the streaming one and just go down to the Indian one, for example, and you can access the Indian stuff through these servers. So that's basically it for today's video. But again, ExpressVPN is going to be your best choice. But overall, Surfshark is going to be a great budget option that really you can share around with friends and family and you retain all the necessary security features. And CyberGhost is just meant for you now if you don't like to use the VPN all that much and you just want something that is really cheap. But whenever you get to be using the VPN, it does the job very well. So whether you're looking to secure a device while torrenting or let's just say streaming, whether you're looking to access streaming services or just simply secure device while on public Wi-Fi or while torrenting, it does a great job. And so if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, again, you'll find the links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, and CyberGhost is even covered by a 45 money-back guarantee. So in case you guys are not satisfied for whatever reason, you guys can just get yourself a refund. 
But besides that, comment below if you have any questions or comments. I'll be happy to answer all of them. And like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.